Well, we've returned to Mount Murray, as we say we try to from time to time. And uh, what's happening now? Well, we're going to get the latest from Brian Stoll. Uh, the cranes are in. Hopefully, the, the guys up there is taking a few pictures for us as well to see some of the damage, because obviously we still can't get much access here. No, it's, it's very tightly controlled with health and safety. Yeah. I mean, all building work is, but believe me, you set fire to a hotel and everybody takes an interest, and quite rightly so, because I'd rather not get killed on this job. But the, <laughs> the crane, as you can see with the man rider there, they're starting the demolition of anything that's unstable or deemed to be possibly unstable. I'm hoping to get this peak down as soon as possible because um, with the permission of the health and safety executive what I'd like to do is open this side of the archway to allow people to get through and particularly get into the hotel and the bars and the facilities from the housing. So this is coming down but you don't yeah. know yet how many other walls we've we've got to do you know a lot of testing there was terrific heat in there everybody was surprised by that and we don't know to the extent that the fabric of the building may have been damaged I mean for anybody that's interested in, in, in building they will know that a pre-stressed concrete lintel has a um, steel reinforcing in it that's under tension well we don't know to what extent that it's been heated and the steelwork will have lost its tension and that will of course weaken any of the structure so it's very important that when it gets put back it's put back as uh, as a new build would be and not just a patch up repair and we've just been showing some more pictures once again the fire which by the way one of our most viewed videos because people just couldn't believe what they were seeing i, I think as, as well i'm not I sure could, you couldn't think <laughs> i couldn't believe it believe me i couldn't believe it Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see how well the guys are filming up there now <laughs> they, with my little mini camera. But uh, just to let you know, over, over Christmas, we've already done an interview with AG again and yeah. yourself. And it was, it was a spur of the moment thing we did. He literally said, right, let's talk. But it was a really in-depth, sort of, more in-depth than normal. So that's going to be running over Christmas. And we've also got a piece with you taking us around the scenes of what goes on in, in the hotel, how it functions. So there's a lot of Mount Murray coming up, but we, we said we'd come back. and. You know, it's interesting, isn't it, to see over the next, what, 18 months, you think, two years? My target, and it's just my personal target, is to have the hotel open for Easter 2015, because that'll give us a run into TT week, you know? Um, it is just the bedroom block now that's of concern. A lot of the damage that was done by overpressurization of the systems, Stuart Clegg services have, have not completed, but they're well underway. If we go in there at some stage, you'll be able to reference the video that was right. taken a couple of weeks ago with the new one, and there's a lot of new equipment gone in there. And um, yeah, it's exciting times, and my schedule is very busy at the moment. Okay, well, thanks for spending the time today, and we'll be back again here soon. Thank you very much, Paul.